Hello everybody, it's All Sims, and welcome back to part 2 of my unnamed speedboat. As of yet, I have still not found a name. So, I'm thinking the name is just gonna stay unnamed. Yeah, that's it. It's set. The name it is. My first ever speed build that I put on YouTube is called Unnamed. Now, first things first, I want to apologize because it took me over a week and a half to get this part up, and for that I'm really sorry. My reasoning, I, sh I have like two reasons, two main reasons. One is because I was waiting for my microphone. I didn't want to sound as bad as I did last time. And my second reason is because I started school and I was getting into the process and stuff like that. I have a story, by the way, about that. But, um, my microphone finally came in. It's called a Real Tech High Definition Audio Phone. Which sounds all technical and stuff, but I have no idea what that means. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's a capacitor microphone schematic diagram. And this is just me reading the instructions that I got on it. If you can call it instructions, it's just a, I guess, naming all the things that are involved, like the, the volume knob, the reverberation adjusting knob, whatever that means. And the longed, the lounged, wonked. See, see, I am not a music person. I have no idea what I'm saying right now. This is all foreign to me. And then you open it up and it's literally in some type of Korean or something. I have no idea what that is at all. Okay, so should I be talking about the build? Probably. Am I going to? Probably not. Back to my story. Um, now, okay, so when I last recorded this, I believe it was about a week and a half ago. I need to check the actual day it was put up. Okay. I'm such a loser that way. Um, but when I recorded it, I had yet to actually... Well, that was my first ever build. So, well, YouTube video that I put up about the Sims. So, one week ago. Pretty sure it was one week ago today. I didn't put it up on Monday. I put it up on Sunday. I see, I put it up on Sunday. I put it up on Sunday. So, that was the 13th. Oh, my fourth. Okay. It was the 13th. And um, when I did that, it was with no experience whatsoever, let me tell you. So if I had gotten small reviews, it's because of that. And I, I'm not really disappointed in that, per se, but I didn't really expect a different outcome. So at least I wasn't disappointed. Um, so right now I hope I have learned at least a little something on how this process goes. A lot of the YouTubers I watch, they don't really talk about the build. They have stories or, or uh, advice. <laughs> Some people give advice. I'm probably not going to be one of those. My advice. Crappy. One thing to remember about me. Um... Yeah, so I, I want to do things a little bit differently, only because I have no idea what I'm doing. And as I go on, I don't really want to change my style because I, I kind of like my style. I, I, I like I like how I am. I don't want to be different just because I might gain a little recognition from this. And that's not my end game at all. If you watched the last video, you know this. That's not my end game at all. I want I'm doing this just because I want to because I think I have some ideas that I think will be interesting to people and this is my only outlet, you can say. Uh, I don't really know anybody else. I used to, but I don't even know anybody else who plays The Sims 4. So I kind of want to branch out into that a little bit more and meet more people that play, I guess. Bounce ideas to a fro from, from for us, both of us, so whoever I, I meet. 
and and things like that. So hopefully that happens. Uh, another thing that I want to do is get better at my gameplay. I want to be able to uh, I want to be able to immerse myself in in the game. And right now it's going to be a little bit more difficult because of the fact that I'm working seven days a week and I have school and I have a uh, you know, a life. I want to. I want to keep my life. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult for me. But I'm not going to let that get me down. Only because I, when I was younger, I didn't really, you know, have a life. I was more of a book type. I still am a book type, but right now I'm kind of more picking what I like to read. So I'm between books right now. Right now I'm actually more towards buying the books instead of reading them, which. <laughs> I, I, I get is a bad thing, but right now um, I literally have no space for the books I have in my room. So, <laughs> but my birthday's coming up, and I know what I want for my birthday. And my sister said she might get it for me, but if she doesn't, I kind of get it for myself. But if you do, Erica, that'd be perfect. <laughs> now, the second thing I wanted to talk about is the story that I wanted to tell. Okay, so. For this semester, I go to Sewers College, right? That's in California. Um, and for this semester, I signed up for three classes. It was a child development class. It was a history class, an early antiquity class from 1500 to present, I believe. And then an uh, online English class. Now, me being, you know, the spaz, <laughs> I guess you could say that I am. I didn't read the fine print when I was getting my classes, and one of the fine prints was that you had to log in on the first day in order to stay in the class for the online class. And since I didn't read that on the first day, I logged in on the second day at night. I was at work when I first logged in, right? At work. Um, so. I finished two of the assignments that were up because she was doing an introductory thing and she wanted us to interact with all the other people in the class as well as tell us about our, tell her about ourselves or tell us tell them about ourselves yeah that way that's what I want to say tell them about ourselves and I didn't do that I finished two assignments without knowing that <laughs> I didn't need to so yeah that class got dropped right now and I'm debating because I'm not positive, I still gotta talk to one of my counselors because uh, I think to be a part of the work study program you have to have a certain amount of classes pertaining to said degree. And right now both my classes pertain to the degree, but I think I don't have enough to actually do the work study. I gotta talk to her about that because I've yet to get my hours. And I'm not sure if I'm the only one that has yet to get their hours or if everybody else is waiting for their hours too. I mean it is the beginning of the year, and I get people are busy and things like that. So maybe I'm just being impatient. And I, this is the first time I'm actually going at this time of year, so I'm not exactly sure what time they should appear. They, they didn't take that long the first time I did it, but that was at the end of last year, so it's... No, actually that was at the beginning of last year, so it's a little bit different, and I understand that. So I'm going to be a little bit more patient. Try to do so, um, that is not to say I'm not going to do the work study because I love the class and I like my teacher. She's one of the types of teachers that um, I wish I had had all throughout my elementary school years. Um, and I'm not saying I didn't have good teachers during that time, but I moved around a lot. And I had all kinds of different teachers growing up, not all of them that I can remember. I had two, or one, no, my kindergarten teacher, Miss P, and my fourth grade teacher, Miss Weatherby. That's the only one I can remember, only ones I can remember, and Miss Weatherby is only because my sister Sarah had had her the previous year when she was in fourth grade. So. <laughs> That's the only reason I remember that name. Which kind of sucks if you ask me. Uh-huh. So, 
I should talk about the girls a little bit, because I, like, totally bypassed the whole thing. Um, and hopefully you guys liked the, the way I did it. Um, I, I kind of worked towards doing things a little bit differently than I normally do. And like I said, like I said in the first video, the challenge of this build was getting it to work around the angles that, um, I made it, I made it seem. Or that I made the build look like. The angles that I made the build have. I can't talk right now, okay? I can't talk. Um, so that was a little bit interesting. The, uh, bathroom for the masters, uh, was interesting as well. Um, because normally when I put a bathroom in, I put, like you saw in the, in the, in the children's bathroom, we put a shower and, uh, a tub. Sometimes I do it separately, sometimes I rarely do it together, but this time I did. Um, so, there's that. So I really hope you guys like the design, the screenshots I'm about to show right now. So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you guys like this video and I will get back to you when I do.